What's up guys, Ioana from Subwell here. I just finished my 16 mile long run. So I'm gonna show you everything I do on my long run days to recover from these hard efforts as a vegan runner. Let's get into it. All right, first up, I always make sure to get in water after these runs. They're pretty uh, dehydrating efforts, especially here in the North Carolina summers. It was 80 degrees out there today and I didn't have my handheld water bottle with noon electrolytes, which I usually bring on my long run. So I'm gonna need to prioritize rehydration as a big piece of my recovery today. That was my first sip. Now it can be kind of tough for me to get in any solid foods right after these runs. So what I usually do is I'll have two scoops of Tailwind Recovery Mix, which is, uh, let me see, dextrose, sugar, coconut milk powder, amino acids, basically everything you need to recover from a long run or any harder workouts. And it's vegan and it goes down super easily. So I'll mix this up to get in 240 quick calories after a long run. Checking out the Wall Street Journal there. There's a lot of negativity out there. I try to focus on controlling what I can control. All right, we got some hydration and some recovery mix. So now it's time to hit the shower, put on some comfy clothes, and then work on getting some solid food down. All right, now it's time for some solid food. Hanging out with Mace McGase, four-year-old daughter, and we are making some pasta. Mace, what do we have here? Sausage. Sausage, what else do we have? We have pasta. Sausage, pasta. And cheese. What kind of cheese, regular cheese or vegan cheese? Vegan cheese. And then? Peas. Peas. What are we gonna make? We're gonna, we're gonna make oily pasta. Oily pasta. Fan with, favorite. With, with Ashley Sausage. Yeah. Daddy. That's a nice level, huh? What's up? Like it. <laughs> you like it? Alright, Mace, what are you listening to? Big Bird! <laughs> Got some Big Bird on the record player. Perfect recovery day music. All right, we're cooking these sausages to the perfect level of crispiness. You gotta cut them up into these rounds so that you can crisp them on both sides and it's just delicious. Right, Mace? Yeah, I can. Can you see that? Oh, no, I don't like using the microwave, but sometimes it's a necessary evil in this kitchen. We got the frozen peas in there for a minute. Uh, just to soften them up. If I'm making fresh pasta, today I'm doing leftovers, but if I'm making fresh pasta, I'll throw the frozen peas in the pot with the pasta for the last two minutes so they boil and I can avoid the microwave. But today, we gotta put the frozen peas in there. If you got another method to thaw frozen peas without putting them in the microwave, let me know. The spatula is supposed to go on the plate. And where do I keep putting it by accident? You, you keep putting it on, on the pasta. Yeah. You're a rule follower like your mother. No, can I see? Can I see? <laughs> now, what's, what's going on in here? Got the perfect level of brown in the cast iron. All right, we're done with the sausage. Now we got a trifecta of leftover penne in there. Threw some oat milk and some butter. And we're gonna probably throw some nutritional yeast in there too and make a nice sauce for our pasta. How do the sausages look? Good. Did you try one yet? No. Yeah. You want to? Mm -hmm. Have you tried them first? Try one first so they're not too hot. They're still hot. We can wait. All right, Mace. What do we got here? Pasta, peas, um, spinach, and sausage. Yeah, look at that. Final product. Beautiful. We got the Mason size one, and we got the Big Daddy one, and we got one for the baby when he wakes up. I'm fully refueled. Both kids are down for their afternoon nap, so it's gonna be time to take a chill pill for a sec, do some work, and then, I don't know what the afternoon is gonna hold, but some relaxation 
definitely gotta make another coffee. That's a key piece of the afternoon relaxation regime. The afternoon kind of got away from me here, but we went to the splash pad with the kids. They absolutely loved it. Splashing and splashing around in the water. I love that place because the pool is like two feet deep, so you can just let them go wild without worrying about anything. Came back here and had some dinner. For dinner, we had a nice falafel spread. So we got the naan from Trader Joe's with the tabula, which is the couscous with tomatoes and cilantro and then the falafel on hummus. I had two of those feeling good. All right guys, put Mace to bed and now it's time to edit some videos, do a little bit of work on the site, and then try to get some shut eye before another busy day tomorrow. So thanks for watching and following along on this day of the life of vlog. And for more stuff like this about my life as a vegan runner, founder, CEO, and dad, like, follow, subscribe, all this stuff on YouTube. I'll be putting out more content. Thank you.